Okay, so you think you're going to be in debt for decades, maybe for the rest of your life. I mean, you've got a 30-year mortgage, right? So it's going to take at least 30 years to pay it off, or you're going to keep refinancing it, and you're never going to be done with your mortgage payments, your car payments. You're going to keep buying cars, and the only way to do that is to go in debt. You know, thinking that you're going to be in debt for the rest of your life is a complete and total lie. As a matter of fact, it's a lie straight out of the pit of the creditor. Well, I'm about to go into studio. We're going to look at the numbers, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so maybe you've bought into the lie. You may think that the only way you'll ever be able to get things like a house or a car is to sign on the dotted line and start making payments and squeeze those payments into your budget, right? I hear you. How else could you buy a car or a house? I mean, it's not like you have an extra 200 grand in cash laying around that you can plop on the table at closing and walk away with the keys to your dream home. And who has an extra 25 grand laying around so you can take advantage of that great deal you saw on the SUV that's only two years old and has like next to no miles on it, right? In this video, you're going to learn three cash flow secrets. Two of them we've taught to over 3 million people to help them save over $100,000 or more. And one secret will not only save you over 100 grand, but it can also put tens of thousands of dollars in your bank at the same time. Now, I don't think it's a stretch to say that you really can't afford to miss this. So let's get right to it. Cash flow secret number one is you have to stop believing in the monthly payment lie. And the monthly payment lie is this. Just because you can make those monthly payments doesn't mean you can afford them. Now, I know it sounds like a total contradiction in terms, but it's not. Let's take a look at some numbers and see how this lie works. Now, these are the numbers from the sample family from my book, The Debt-Free Millionaire. I call them the Fortunato family. That's me being interviewed by Pat Robertson of The 700 Club when my book was published. Isn't that cool? My 15 minutes of fame right there. Let's get back to the numbers. Tom and Lisa have a house, a couple cars, and a handful of credit cards. And when you add it all up, they have $238,273.25 in debt, and they're making $2,575 a month in total payments every month. Now, before Tom and Lisa signed on the dotted line for their house, their cars, and that handful of credit cards that they used, what do you think they did? Yep, they did what you do. Sit down with a calculator, some paper, and something to write with, and you start budgeting. This is where you try to figure out if you can make those monthly payments. And this is where the monthly payment lie begins. You know, the Fortunatos, this is what their budget looks like. They have their net monthly income, you know, their living expenses every month. And I'm talking about expenses that pay for everything, not just groceries and utilities, you know, things like gas for the car, birthday gifts for the kids and Christmas budgets and, you know, everything. I mean, every single thing that you spend every month, this is what that living expense budget is. And then there's their house payment a couple car payments, and a handful of credit cards. When all is said and done, they have $425 left over. And to most people, these numbers look pretty healthy, right? I mean, how would you feel if you had over $400 left over every month after you paid every single bill and expense for that month? I'd bet you feel pretty good, wouldn't you? And this is the feeling that makes you believe you can afford those payments. And so the lie begins. And that's because all you ever hear about is payments for this, payments for that. You know, payments, payments, payments. You become so hyper-focused on payments that you never stop to realize it's a trap. The monthly payment lie is a trap. And the trap for Tom and Lisa is that they didn't have the 205 grand laying around they needed to buy their house. And so they signed on the dotted line because they could afford the $1,335 payment. They didn't have the 23 grand laying around when they bought Lisa's car or the $19,000 when they bought Tom's car. So they went back to the dotted line again because they could afford the monthly payments. The credit cards, well, they built up about 12 grand on those, but hey, they got like 15% off of that new 4K TV by using their Best Buy credit card and they really wanted to take their kids to see that famous mouse down in his magical kingdom in Orlando. And it was so much easier to put the 12 grand on a few credit cards because they could afford the $402 a month in payments for it all. And so they continue making their easy to afford payments because they have $425 left over 
and they're feeling pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you have hundreds of dollars left over every month after you've paid everything for that month, all of your bills, or are you not as fortunate as the Fortunatos? The monthly payment lie seduces you into thinking you can afford your debt, and you never stop to think about how much your debt is actually costing you. Let's look at Tom and Lisa's numbers. As we do, let's imagine Tom and Lisa, they never add to their debt. I mean, the house they're making payments on right now, they're going to live in that house until they die. They're going to drive the two cars that they have right now for the rest of their lives, and they cut up their credit cards and never use them again. And they never use any other credit card ever again, okay? So when we look at the following numbers, remember, the $238,273.25 in total debt is all the debt they'll ever have for the rest of their lives. What do you think this debt actually costs them while they keep believing in the monthly payment lie that seduces them into thinking they can afford their debt? Are you ready for this? The $238,273.25 in debt will cost them $628,428.74. That's 263.74% more than they borrowed. But they don't even know it. I know, how is this even possible, right? Well, I'm glad that you asked. When you add up all the payments, the monthly payment lie will cause Tom and Lisa to make over the lifetime of their debts. They'll pay a grand total of $502,000 $742.99, and they'll pay that grand total from their net income. So the next question becomes, how much will they have to gross in order to bring home enough to be able to pay over a half a million dollars in total debt payments? If over the lifetime of their debt, their income taxes average 20%, that's where we get the total of $628,428.74. This is why all the commercials you see focus on monthly payments and keep pushing the lie because that's how all of your creditors get rich off of your blood, your sweat, and your years of income. For the Fortunatos, their 238 grand and change in debt will cost them over $628,000 in total future income. I bet you they thought they could never afford that if they knew it. Just think about what you owe on your mortgage if you have one, your car or your two cars if you have more than one car, student loans and credit cards, or any other debt that you have. If you're like the Fortunatos and you have a couple hundred thousand dollars or more in debt, that's not how much it will cost you. The monthly payment lie means your debt will cost you between 200 and 300% more than the amount that you actually owe right now. And that's probably an amount you never would have agreed to borrowing. You have to stop believing in the monthly payment lie. That lie is just because you can make the monthly payments doesn't mean you can afford them. Sure, you need to sign on the dotted line for your house and your cars and maybe for that college education. I get it. But don't believe the lie that you can afford those monthly payments. Once you've taken possession of the house, you know, the keys, you got the keys to that car in your hand or you got your diploma, you need to start short-circuiting the monthly payment lie as soon as possible because if you don't, it will end up costing you two to three times more and gross income, just like it did the Fortunatos. Fortunately, that's what cash flow secret number two is all about. Cash flow secret number two is you can afford to pay off all of your debt in an average of just five to nine years. Back in 1990, my business partner, John Commuta, discovered that by adding some extra money to his debt payments, he could afford to pay off his house, his cars, and his credit cards in less than five years. He was totally shocked. Long story short, he created a course about it, and today we've taught that system to over three million people, and I'm about to give you the secret sauce to that course right now. What you do is add what you can to the payment for your smallest debt. Now, for the Fortunatos, that was that $425 they had left over after everything was paid, and you get that debt paid off in just a few months instead of a few years, and when that debt is paid off, you take the extra that you're putting on top of that debt and you add it to the payment from that debt and then you roll it over on top of the next smallest debt and you keep doing this until all of your debt is completely paid off. This is commonly referred to as the snowball method. You take some extra money and start snowballing it down from one debt payment to the next and you eventually have all of your debts paid off in just a handful of years. For the Fortunatos, they get all of their debts paid off 
in nine years. And doing this saves them $178,484.68 in interest. That's how the snowball method works. However, in 2012, we discovered an even more powerful strategy. It's a strategy that still utilizes the snowball method, but it's in a slightly different way. While the snowball method I just described does save you a ton of money like we just mentioned, there's something that's missing. All that snowball money is going to your creditors. Once you make the payments, that money is gone for good. And while the obvious benefit is that you're saving decades of time and over $100,000 in interest, what you're not doing is building any wealth for yourself. Let's face it, you can't retire on debt freedom. You need a stockpile of cash if you ever want to be able to quit working, right? So, um, what if there was a way to snowball your payments and pay off all of that debt while simultaneously building that stockpile of cash for yourself? <laughs> well, that's exactly what John discovered in 2012. He discovered that there's a special account you can create that allows you to use your current income, to pay off all of your debts, and build tax-free wealth with the same dollars at the same time. You see, instead of snowballing your payments to your creditors, you snowball your payments into this special account. And then you use that account to pay off all of your debts while it continues to accumulate interest and dividends for you and your future. And with that, we'll move on to cash flow secret number three. Cash flow secret number three is snowball your payments into an account that allows you to pay off your debt while simultaneously building a stockpile of cash for yourself. Because when you snowball your payments to your creditors, when you're debt free, you have zero dollars saved for your future. But when you snowball your payments into this special account, you have tens of thousands of dollars saved for your future by the time you're also debt free. So just imagine what it would feel like to have all of your debt completely paid off and all those monthly payments were yours to keep. Now imagine on top of that, you had tens of thousands of dollars in a bank in addition to all that monthly cash that you've just freed up for yourself. Let me know in the comments which you would prefer, to be debt free with zero dollars in the bank or to be debt free with tens of thousands of dollars in the bank. This is your brain, this is your brain on drugs, right? Now for the Fortunados, they'll have $49,725 saved on top of the thousands of dollars in monthly cash flow because they've paid off all of their debts. Now, while snowballing your payments into one of these special accounts may take you a little longer to become debt free, the end result is you end up with more cash. Remember when I said you can't retire on debt freedom alone and that you also need a stockpile of cash in addition to being debt free if you ever wanna be able to quit working? That's exactly what this kind of an account will do for you. These accounts are called private family banks. If you'd like more info on what they are and how they work, check out the link below. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. There's so much more to your personal financial story and one video will never be able to teach you everything you need to know. And while you're at it, share this video so those you know and care about can discover what these three cash flow secrets are too. If you don't, then they're going to continue to believe in the monthly payment lie and that means they're gonna wind up broke. And because you're following what we're teaching here, They'll come to you because you have that stockpile of cash. So share it with them for that reason alone. It's the gift that just keeps on giving. While we wrap up this video, let me know if there are any other personal finance topics you'd like to see explored, like you know, investing, you know, your credit, or anything else that has to do with your personal finances. You can do that by making a request in the comments below. Meanwhile, God bless you, and we'll see you next time.